In laboratories across three continents, astrophysicists are running trajectory simulations backward through time. And with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. What we're witnessing with 3i Atlas represents either the most extraordinary coincidence in astronomical history. When the raw tracking data from 3i Atlas went public, no one cared. Then a few users fed it into Grok AI, Elon Musk's open data model, and strange things started happening. Grok found repeating clusters in the background radio noise. Too weak to be a signal, too precise to be random. The discovery spread fast across research forums. And that same week, Michio Kaku mentioned that AI might detect intelligence before humans even recognize it. Days later, the data began to change. At the MIT Haystack Observatory, a small team decided to investigate further. Instead of using traditional radio analysis, they built a machine learning model designed to look for patterns, not in frequency content, but in timing. The system was built from the same framework used by SETI to detect potential structured signals buried in noise, a kind of artificial intelligence that learns what randomness looks like and flags whatever doesn't fit. They trained it on 400 hours of deep space radio data, pulsars, quasars, satellite noise, even background interference from Earth. The goal was simple, teach the AI what's normal so it could spot what's not. Then they fed it three days of archive data from 3i Atlas, roughly 72 hours of wideband signal, centered near 1420 megahertz, the hydrogen line. That frequency isn't random, it's one of the natural constants of the universe. Often used in cosmic research because it's so distinct and stable. The scientists expected nothing more than background fuzz, but the algorithm flagged a repeating cycle. Faint, but consistent. Every few hours, a pattern reappeared. Not perfect, but regular enough to raise eyebrows. One of the researchers compared it to a rotation beacon, something spinning, producing periodic bursts maybe a jet of gas rotating with the comet. Logical, but what happened next didn't fit any rotation model. During calibration, the AI system automatically sends low-level test sweeps to check for reflection or interference in the receiver chain. Those sweeps are standard. They aren't broadcast into space, just internal pings for synchronization. But somehow, a return appeared that matched the sweep pattern delayed by roughly the travel time between Earth and the object's location, around 36 minutes at that point. At first, they assumed it was an internal echo, maybe a feedback artifact, but they tested everything, cables, local repeaters, cross-coupling. The delay curve didn't match any known reflection source. It behaved like a response. Someone on the team half-jokingly said, let's ask it something. They generated a simple sequence, three short pulses, pause, three again. The most basic handshake possible. About an hour later, a similar six pulse sequence showed up in the return data. Slightly off frequency, distorted, but recognizable. It could have been pure coincidence, or maybe their AI designed to find patterns just found one because it wanted to. But coincidences tend to make scientists curious. They repeated the same test three more times. Two of those attempts produced nothing unusual. The third produced another mirrored pulse, delayed again by roughly the correct light time. At that point, the team officially logged it as a structured correlation event. That's academic code for, we don't know what it is, but it's not noise. The logical explanation still stood. Natural modulation, instrument coupling, even misinterpreted satellite interference. But one small note in their internal report stood out. Signal appears to adapt to denoising parameters. Meaning, as they cleaned their data, the returning signal seemed to clean itself too. This made no physical sense. 3i Atlas is millions of kilometers away. It shouldn't adjust to a machine learning model running on Earth. But statistically, the response kept improving, sharper, more defined. Almost as if the object's emissions were locking onto the same algorithm, analyzing them. It was probably a feedback loop or a coincidence of correlated noise. Still, it looked like interaction. A few days later, the object's emissions dropped off completely. Every frequency went silent. At first, they thought the instruments failed. But global networks confirmed the same thing. No signal at all from 3i Atlas. For nearly seven hours, it was quiet. 
That silence lined up almost exactly with the object's perihelion, the point in its orbit closest to the sun. It made sense that solar radiation or plasma interference could overwhelm any emission during that time. But when the signal returned, the first recognizable emission wasn't random static. It was six short bursts. The same sequence the team had sent earlier. That single fact started circulating across private research groups. The timing, the shape, the replication, all identical. NASA's official comment was short. No confirmed data supports non-natural behavior. The event remains under review. The data logs from the original session were archived soon after and pulled offline for, quote, further validation. Most of them never returned to public databases. Independent analysts rechecked whatever remained. Amateur radio astronomers tried replaying parts of the pattern with open source software. A few claimed to see the same repetition buried in noise. Others said there was nothing there, just statistical coincidence amplified by algorithmic bias. It depends on what you believe first, that the data holds meaning or that humans are wired to find patterns in chaos. SETI researchers later explained it in one interview. If your model is designed to detect non-random structure, it will find it, whether it's there or not. The smarter your model gets, the more convincing the illusion becomes. In short, the more advanced our AI tools become, the easier it is to accidentally trick ourselves. Still, one detail remains interesting. The delay time between the outbound test pulse and the returning pattern perfectly matched the round-trip light travel time to the minute. No other artifact, reflection, or internal feedback system matches that precision. That doesn't prove communication, but it is the kind of data point that keeps scientists awake at night. The simplest explanation? That 3 i Atlas's plasma tail briefly resonated with Earth's magnetic field, forming a natural echo path that mimicked a delayed return. It's possible it fits the math. But even the researchers who wrote that paper admitted it was statistically unlikely. So, either we witnessed a one-in-a-billion natural feedback event, or we just experienced our first interstellar callback. Here's the interesting philosophical part. When people imagine communication from another civilization, they expect language, words, codes, mathematics. But maybe that's not how a first interaction would look at all. Maybe it would start with nothing but timing, a rhythm, a shared pulse, recognition, that something else is on the other side of the noise. If you strip away all emotion, all hype, and just look at the numbers, the only confirmed fact is this. For a few hours in 2025, an object from another solar system and a machine on Earth exchanged identical patterns, separated by millions of kilometers and synchronized through pure physics. Whether it was deliberate or accidental, we may never know. But for the scientists who saw it happen in real time, that moment will probably never feel like coincidence. Maybe it was just feedback, maybe the AI looped itself, or maybe, just maybe, something out there noticed we were listening and replied, the only way it could. The story is based on real astronomical data about interstellar object 3i Atlas's ongoing research and AI signal analysis, and speculative interpretations discussed across open scientific forums. It's intended for entertainment and educational discussion, not as verified evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence. Please enjoy it responsibly.